Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, DevelopWise Managing Director, Mr. John Woon. Wow. Now that's a, did you guys enjoy that performance? That's a hard act to follow. So actually, I do a bit of singing myself. Would you like to hear it? Yes? No? I know my kids over there would like to hear me sing, but for those who know me, I can't sing if my life depended on it. Fortunately, I believe we all have talents within us, and I think the most important part is to realize what we're good at and passionate about, and then follow our hearts and chase our dreams. For me, I grew up in a small apartment in a humble neighborhood in Singapore. That was me when I was six years old with my little sister next to me. My parents came to Australia 40 years ago because they wanted to find a better life for our family. And they came here without me and my two sisters because back then we had very little and they couldn't afford to bring us along with them. So from a young age, I was raised by my grandmother and it wasn't until I was about nine years old that my parents managed to fly us over to Perth to reunite as a family. I don't remember much about those years. I just remember they were years of frugality as we really didn't have much back then. Looking back now with four kids of my own, I can only imagine the hard choices and sacrifices that my parents had to make in order for us to be here today. Six years ago, my father passed away. He was 67. He worked so hard to give us the opportunity to live a better life here. And I'm internally grateful to him for everything he has done for us. And I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge and pray for him in heaven that he watches over us tonight with his blessing and his wisdom. Thank you, Dad. I love you. Now, as for my mum, she is also here with us tonight. And there she is at the front of the crowd. And I would also like to acknowledge her for everything she has done. You know, without her, all this would not be possible. Can we please put our hands together for my mum, the most selfless and generous person I know. Thank you, mum. I love you too. Okay, so where was I? Oh, yes following your hearts and chasing your dreams. So what's this got to do with tonight? Well, you see, I have a dream. I dream of creating beautiful neighborhoods where design and craftsmanship meets with care for those who live there, where communities are formed from relationships of love and friendship. I dream to create homes for you where you have a sense of belonging a feeling of serenity, and a place of sanctuary where your lives will become a joy. And if I may, I would like to play you a film of how I envision Sanctuary Mount Pleasant to be like for the lucky residents who will live there.
Growing up locally in the city of Melville for the last 30 years, I'm truly grateful to have such beautiful surroundings and neighbourhoods to call home. Ever since I could remember, I've always been fascinated with property development. My father was an accountant and he realised the best way to build up his wealth was to build our family home, live in it and sell it. In a way, he sparked my interest in building. So I went on to study civil engineering and eventually got my builder's licence and founded DevelopWise in 2004. Fifteen years later, after building, developing and selling hundreds of properties, I found myself wanting to create more beautiful buildings that would enrich people's lives and enhance our neighbourhood. The perfect opportunity presented itself when two large blocks on a quiet and leafy street in Mount Pleasant came on the market. I remember walking to the site and standing in front of it, I just knew that something special could be created here. Drawing inspiration from the street named Wren, which is a small bird, we started looking at local bird lives around the Swan River. Thinking about who we are creating this for, empty nesters looking for their sanctuary came into my mind. And just like that, Sanctuary Mount Pleasant was born. I wanted to redefine what it means to live in an apartment by creating house-sized apartments with generous spaces and oversized living areas where you can relax and rejuvenate, where every space is meticulously crafted with a sense of purpose that brings everyday luxury into your life. At the heart of it all, I wanted to create a place where you can call home for the rest of your life. sculpture, Flight Over Water, sits in a rather wonderful alcove sort of space uh, between two sort of major vertical thrusts of the building. So there's a, a wonderful sort of quiet space which we thought was a perfect place for a contemplative sculpture. Once the idea of, of placing a, a water body in this space came about, then it, it offered opportunities to have uh, reflections and interaction with the water in some way. These two shapes follow each other um, like, like a pair of birds really, you know, sort of flying through the sky, each one moving and swooping and reacting to each other. The space was so rich it has allowed me to come up with a sculpture that I, I really want to make. It's very much a work of, of, my, of my own heart and, and ongoing interest. Yeah, so I'm really proud to see this one develop. With the Sanctuary's landscape design, there's the entry garden, which is really in keeping with the architecture of the building. It has a beautiful sculpture by Stuart Green and then some reflection ponds and, and some lovely soft planting, which really creates a gorgeous foil for the building. And then at the side of the building, because every spare spot that can be designed with a garden has got a garden, and that's just really unusual for an apartment. But the roof garden itself, I think, is the piers de resistance because it's got something for everybody. In terms of the planting, it's got a kitchen garden, which is lovely with the rosemary and places that you could plant your own plants if you really wanted to, but let's face it, most of us would really just prefer to, to pick a, a lime or a lemon to go in our gin and tonic. But if you want to do that, you can do that. If you want to sit up there and just relax, sit by the fire in winter, or take a stroll through the garden, even with your grandchildren or your little dog, I think it's just beautiful. Creating a beautiful masterpiece takes time, passion 
and a talented team. One of the most important aspects when doing a development is who's going to be the builder. Being a registered builder myself, appointing the builder was certainly an interesting choice. I wanted to make sure that the builder had a proven track record, an impeccable reputation, and they were as passionate about the development as I am. After narrowing down a selection of Perth's top builders, one in particular stood out. A builder that has stood the test of time, synonymous with quality, and widely regarded as Perth's most luxurious home builders, the Zorzi Group. So David, when it comes to building luxury, it's certainly something that Zorzi has become accustomed to. What is one key value that you think made Zorzi renowned for building Perth's finest homes? I think it's a never-ending pursuit of excellence. It's something that's in our DNA, it's ingrained in our culture, and it drives us in a level of passion to create, over the last 60 years, some of the best homes in Australia. The key to a successful project is in the planning and the preparation before the project even commences. We're fortunate enough to be involved early in the sanctuary design. And our knowledge, experience and skill set will ensure that we get this project delivered to the highest standard. I believe living at the sanctuary will have heart, character and soul. It will provide its residents a sense of belonging and serenity a place of sanctuary, and that's what people want in their home, to express their own personal space and ethos. So I hope you all enjoyed that. Now we actually have some very special guests here with us tonight. And as you may know, quite a number of the sanctuary apartments have actually already sold prior to today's grand launch. Now, it is my honor to invite on stage some of the purchasers of the sanctuary. Can we please give a big round of applause as we welcome them on stage? <laughs> Matt and Nevis, we'll get you over here. Uh, I think Matt and Nevis, I think they're getting over there. Thank you. Thank you. And then Adam, and then Francis, we'll get you to stand here on the marks, and Brad, and John, and Glennis on that side. Beautiful. Um, we'll, yeah. <laughs> we'll get them on this, uh, this end first. John, I'll grab that for you. You'll be last. <laughs> Thank you. Okay. Who wants to do the honors? Nevis. Don't be nervous. Don't be nervous. Just be natural. You're talking just to me. So just, just look at me. <laughs> so I guess, you know, like, I guess today the purpose is to, you know, um, just really find out about what, what, why people have found out about the sanctuary and decided, you know, to, to secure one before the grand launch. And it's really about that community that I'm trying to achieve here. Because I think it's very rare to have um, a, a building that you have like-minded people, owner-occupiers, predominantly downsizers, you know, I think it's something that you just don't find out there in the marketplace. And Matt and Nevis, what was it about Sanctuary that drew you to it? And what made you decide and was so special for you? Well, it was actually you uh, that, that found the um, advertisement in the uh, local paper. Yeah. And um, we'll Matt said, let's go and have a look. And um, after looking north and south of the river, yes. um, there was nothing that really caught our eye. And this one really took your eye. We made an appointment with yes. you. And um, basically what I loved about your attitude was that it was no pushiness. You yes. made us feel comfortable. You listened to our needs. We felt special, um, and it was exactly what we wanted, you know, downsizing and lock up and go on your holidays. Beautiful. Um, so the rest is really history. Um, great workmanship uh, yeah. and being a builder, uh, that my husband works in a building industry. Yes. We built two homes previously, yes. so 
you know, And good the Mercedes quality. construction of the Zorzi yeah. Group, you know, assuring that quality it's as well. Definitely. And good quality really appealed to us, you know, yes. high ceilings, close to all amenities and of course closer to our children. Beautiful. So the okay. children used to follow us, but now we follow them. Thank you, Nevis. <laughs> I'll uh, give a round of applause to Matt and Nevis. Thank you. Adam, your, your time to shine. No worries, John. <laughs> no. So it was, it was quite strange because when you first met me, you said that you've been looking for apartments for like six years. And yeah, actually longer than that, probably long, more than 10 years. More than 10 years. That's right, yeah. And so when you found out about the sanctuary, what, how did it compare to the others that you've seen and what made you decide? Yeah, the, the big difference for me was the size of the apartments. Um, yeah. A lot of apartments in Perth are, follow a very generic format. Yes. 80 square metres, maybe a little bit more. Yes. Um, the sanctuary apartments are just way, way bigger than that. You mentioned to me that you even took out a ruler and you started right. measuring. Yeah. So I measured, I, I measured the living area in the apartment that I bought. Yeah. And that was 46 square metres. And I compared that to the living area in a two bedroom apartment in the Pinnacle, which is a premium development. Yeah. And it's nearly twice the size. So Sanctuary was twice the size of a premium development that you, you the, lived in before. The living area, yeah, there you that's go. right. And I think that's what we wanted to achieve here. You know, we wanted to make sure that the apartments were big, were spacious, had plenty of living areas. Mm -hmm. So thank yeah. you, Brad. You're welcome. Thank you, Adam. Thank you very much. Francis, your turn. Yeah. So uh, yours was quite a uh, quick decision, actually. It was. I, I remember you reading the article in the newspaper. Yep. And then you called me up and you said, oh, I want to come and have a look at this. Yep. And you came then and you were very decisive. Yep. You're like, oh, no, this is the one for me. Well, so, it came down to size. Yep. And I wanted a view. I wanted a lifestyle. Yep. The rivers, walking around the rivers just yep. appealed to me. Yep. And when I saw the size, yep, we'll just get that when I saw the size, yes, so big. The, you know, I like the idea you've done the light with the perspex coming right through. Yes. You extend it right through into your, so there's no darkness in any way. Yes. And I like the rooftop garden, Beautiful. so appealing to me. Yes, and I think so that's different. Yes, that's a place where you can create a community. Yeah. It's like a, it's like a garden, yeah. but you don't have to maintain it. And you meet, you're going to meet your neighbours. You can go up there. And you can yep. enjoy, you know, the views. Meet yep. your friends. Sit Beautiful. around the fire. Beautiful. And I just love being outside anyway, yeah. so that rooftop garden really appealed to me. Beautiful. Really okay, good. thank you, Francis. Brad and Da, thank you. Um, so tell me a bit about your story. What was the primary reason behind you wanting to buy one? Well, with my lifestyle, um, I work overseas. I've got a FIFO sort of a lifestyle. Yes. Um, the security so you're FIFO, you're FIFO, right? Yeah. Yep. So the security of an apartment is good because it's really hard to maintain a, a house when you're yes. not there. Yes, yes. Um, but the problem with apartments is they're too small. Too small. But this one was li like a uh, house size apartment. So yep. that, that was the primary reason why. Yeah, so you just found them really large, really spacious. It was yes. a lock up and leave lifestyle. Yes. Because you're working that FIFO. That's right. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you, Brad. John Glennis, who would like to talk? John, okay, put it nice and close. Yep. Last but not least, yep. um, I believe that you guys have been a Mount Pleasant residence for pretty much most of your life. In, in that area, yes. And you've looked at quite a number of different apartments and how did Sanctuary appeal to you and what made it different and why did you decide? Well, we, we wanted to downsize into uh, something that was rather stylish. Yes. And, and, we'll and, roo and, and roomy and we've been looking for about six months and we haven't been able to find anything. Yeah. And we, we like the area because we walk by the river and uh, the, the, your development is, is close to Woolworths, the, the buses, IGA and the restaurants. We thought, well, that's, as we're getting older, that's the sort of, sort of thing that we, we want to have yep. in our life. So yep. uh, that's what made us... I think the location and community, uh, the convenience of Woolworths and everything being yeah. so close yeah. really appealed and we, we didn't want to be in a huge development. We yeah, were, we were and the boutiqueness. The, the smaller development, and uh, we know Zorzi of old, and we yep. thought, well, if they're the builder, well, they've, they've, they've got a reputation for quality, so we didn't want any of the Sydney site type things happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thanks okay. for that, John and Glennis, thank you. So um, just before we conclude our uh, Q&A, 
I would like to just, um, you know, as a token of my appreciation, give you guys a small gift. Um, if we can pass the gifts to them, thank you very much. Can we please give a big round of applause to the purchasers of the sanctuary? Thank you. And I'll, I'll get you to work on stage. Thank you. I'll give you that. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you very much. Thanks, Adam. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So, just before I wrap it up, um, I would like to give a big thanks to everyone who has been involved with the Sanctuary Project. Um, without your support and contribution, this would not have been possible. Thank you very much for everything you have done, and I'm sincerely grateful to have such wonderful and talented people that believe in me and my vision, and together we have made it possible. Can we please put our hands together for everyone involved with the Sanctuary that put their hearts and souls into making this project possible. Now, finally, uh, it's been my pleasure and my honor to have you as my guest tonight. There's still plenty of entertainment to come, so stick around, and I hope you have a wonderful time. Now, just as a reminder, we'll have our DevelopWise gift bags at the back of the room for your collection tonight. In it, uh, we'll have a special Sanctuary-themed gift and a copy of the exclusive Sanctuary brochure, which you will be the first to receive tonight. So until then, please continue to eat, drink, and play around with our Sanctuary virtual displays, which we have set up at the back of the room, and we'll open them up shortly after this. Thank you very much, and I look forward to deliver Sanctuary Mount Pleasant with all my heart to create a place where you can call home for the rest of your life. Thank you.